Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 21st of November. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about, well, yes, Claim Secret Reward, 10 coins. So yeah, if you're wondering why I always go to this page, that's for that reason. Though I would actually also take a quick pause. Um, the one thing that I always um, try to figure out, is, or not try to figure out, I mean, I just try to do once in a while, is kind of expressing gratitude and and just like, you know, take micro victories and, you know, celebrate a little bit. Yesterday, wow, actually, I just noticed that like the top five hour, six out of seven is all from China. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, so I finished 45th yesterday, which is, you know, pretty okay. I feel like I do better than that often, but it's still a nice thing to kind of, you know, celebrate yourself. So I'm just going to share with that. Uh, if you didn't appreciate it, uh, maybe it's too late to say this, but you could have fast forward. So it, it's only been a minute in, all right? Chill. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, um, so today's problem is, is this today's problem, right? Just want to make sure I didn't have like a random problem up. Uh, yeah, 1926, nearest exit from entrance in maze. Wow, I guess this is a recent problem because in the picture is someone with a mask on. Hmm, that's kind of intense. Anyway, um, you have a matrix, you're given the entrance, is the entrance just like, uh, okay, one, two, okay, what is the plus and dot? Okay, so that's just another way of doing walls and no walls, okay. Okay, so you have the entrance, and then you go up, down, left, right, and then you try to find the nearest exit. An empty cell, that's the border, okay, the entrance does not count as an exit. Hmm. Even if it's on the border? Okay. Uh, that's an awkward sentence, but... I mean, that's fine. It's just another if statement or something, right? Okay. So, I mean, I don't think that there's anything super tricky about this one in terms of... Uh, okay, let, I'm just looking at the constraints. R and C and is 100. I like using R and C for rows and columns because M and N's are kind of confusing. Um, not, for this case, it doesn't matter, but there's some cases where it's not uh, symmetric or, you know... Like it's not, they like one of the const one of the dimensions may be significantly greater than the other or something like that, and you have to be really careful you don't mess it up. And I'm speaking, of course, from experience where I have messed it up. Uh, every little tip I'm, I, I I give on this on on this channel is from me previously messing up uh, in the past. Uh, so uh, may maybe multiple times. I think so. Um, I don't know. I I may be uh off by a, a, you know a couple of problems but i think i was talking to a buddy in real life uh because i have buddies in real life from time to time um just to kind of give you a little bit of context uh this is sunday so maybe there's it's so many story times today but what i was going to say is that um yeah i probably suffer about like ten thousand problems but over like 20 years right so it's not like i sat down and i find four of them i mean at least not at the same time i even took probably i took a break for about like eight years of solving anything except for me mm. Yeah, I think that's roughly right. So, like, you know. Uh, but there's still a lot of promise, you know, and a lot of muscle memory and a lot of stuff like this. So, um, so yeah. And so sometimes the, the reason why I write something um, and feel free to ask is because, you know, there is some mistake that I made in the past, even though uh, Python is relatively new to me in that regards. But, you know, uh, but even then, it's been a couple of years. Okay, so yeah, this is the shortest path problem. Um, I'm just looking up and down to see if there's any cost, meaning in the shortest path problem, whether there's a cost or a weight on the edges, right? Which means a cost to the thing. So otherwise, if because there's no cost and there's no um, free E things, and, and when I say free, I mean like if there's a cost on like obstacles or something like this, then potentially you could have zero one BFS, which is a... I don't know, a fancy BFS if you ask me, but um, but here a BFS will do. And once you recognize that this is a B, uh, a bread first search <clears throat> algorithm, everything is actually kind of straightforward to be honest. In the sense that, um, and I don't mean to diminish people who may struggle with this, but it's just that the hard part about that is recognizing that and. I think this is a pretty cookie cutter version of that problem in that if you have done enough breath first search on a grid, um, you are probably getting this pretty quickly. I mean, like I said, maybe there's some if statements that you're missing and you, you know you have to um, be 
you know, in that case, you'll learn how to be more deliberate and careful about the edge cases. But the core part of the problem is going to be the same. Okay, the four minutes or five minutes for me to say all that, but let's get started then. So our length is equal to... Uh, R is equal to da, 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 and da, 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 right? And as long as this is zero, this or greater than zero, this should be fine. So constraint, this is at least one, so we're Gucci for now. Um and entrance, so maybe I just call it SXSY, you go to entrance, say, and then <clears throat> you know, S this is just general um uh uh, uh breath first search stuff. Um, and maybe just a distance as you go to do, 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 let's just say infinity times uh, C for do, 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 do. Um, and the reason I get this asked this question a lot I, the reason I did do this is because it keeps it um, it keeps it an integer um, there are things where if you use math dot infinity or, or whatever math dot inf which is a flow um, because it's a float, sometimes you auto promote stuff to uh, being a float or double rather, but in Python, you know, um, yeah. Uh, and and in those cases, you regret doing that. So yeah, um, okay. So then of course, distance of S, X, S, Y is equal, um, maybe I can do something like NQ as a function X, Y, and then that's just distance uh, or maybe D. Distance of X, Y is equal to D. Q that uh, append x y oops y d right something like that right now while length of Q is greater than zero uh, after we end Q s x s y is the zero element then yeah <clears throat> uh, x y d is equal to Q dot pop left and of course I need to set up directions. And that's do, 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 do. as long as you get all four directions, I, I don't, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, okay. And then, mm, yeah, I mean, I, mm. turn negative one if we loop, but then here, if X is equal to zero or X is equal to um do i have x is, oops. um maybe this is better then then we return d right oh this auto completes messing me up <clears throat> okay, otherwise then we just you know look at the neighbors. Check the check to make sure that we're on the map. Check that it is not a a war or whatever. Which one's the war? Plus. then we can and also that it is not used then and q uh, d plus one and that's pretty much it um one thing that you can do as a little bit of a time saver is of course um add this here as well add the if statement here i depending on the problem it depends on how you want to do it but um yeah, I think this is okay though, because this cannot be S X S Y. This cannot be the beginning because because the distance would be zero if I do it correctly. Let's give it a spin. This looks good so far. Let's give it some mid unless I miss some edge case, which is I, don't know, I guess we'll discover it together. Uh cool. Hmm, I get time limit exceeded, huh? Did I use dice true or something in the past? That's weird. Why does this time limit exceed in the past? Hmm. 
Hmm. Now I'm not sure. The idea is right. Maybe I just forgot to set done is equal to true somewhere. Oh, I, okay. So that's just because I forgot to set done. Okay. All right. Well, um, okay. Yeah. I mean, this is a way, um, uh, as I said, a very vanilla um, implementation of the of breath first search BFS. I don't really have much to add here. It's going to be re plus ye as in many breath first search. And of course, in this case, both re and ye, uh, or re is going to be O of R times C, and ye is going to be the number of edges is going to be, you know, roughly four times R times C. So, which is still O of R times C. Um, in terms of space, because we use this, it's also going to be linear, and that is going to be R times C. Um, is linear the size of the input, right? Because R times C is the size of the input. So yeah, um, so linear time, linear space, and that's pretty much all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Uh, excuse me. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.